Hello, Gary Hernandez here. Welcome to Kane Self Defense with Master Gary Hernandez. I get asked a question a lot, and that question is Is using the cane for self defense or carrying the cane going to make me look old? And I have other people that tell me they don't want to train with the cane because it's going to make them look old and make them feel old. So, in a nutshell, is carrying the cane going to make you look old? Well, no, not at all, not by far. There's a lot of good reasons to carry a cane for self-defense, and I'm going to go over those. Now, I do apologize if this opening bit here offended anybody. I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to grab your attention for what we're going to talk about, and that is, does the cane make me look old? No, it does not. Now, one of the things you have to understand is, basically, the cane's not going to make you look old. What's going to make you look old and feel old is you. It all depends on how you feel, how you look, and what you're doing with yourself. So number one, no, the cane's not going to make you look old. Number two, don't ask me where I got an 80s style terry cloth bathrobe from. You don't want to know. Now, going back to that question, the cane is not just a mobile device to help you get around. Our first aid aid, it is not a crutch. Besides being able to get you around, it is a really great self-defense tool to have because number one, you can take it anywhere. And number two, it's handy, literally. Now, when you think about somebody old walking around, you think about this kind of a cane that you see a lot of people carry because they either get prescribed to it by a pharmacist or by a doctor because they're light, they're adjustable, and they're, you know, they're cheap. And you, your image is somebody doing this. Well, understand, if somebody has to walk like this, because of a physical ailment or if they've been in a bad accident, that's totally understandable. But if you think this kind of cane is going to make you look old, and I've actually shown videos, and I have them in my video collection, how to use something like this, exactly this kind of cane to defend yourself. But if you think this is going to make you look old, then upgrade. Go to something that's going to be a little bit better for you. Go to a piece of wood, a hard piece of wood. Go to something more stylish. There are tons of different canes out there. Now, when I said about the cane not making you look old, you're making yourself look old, that part, that's true. And if I'm offending you again, I do apologize. Number one, there is that saying, you're only as old as you feel. That's good to a point. Now, I'm in my upper 50s. Now, if you're 50, 60, 70, 80, you should not be dressing like you're 25 or 20, because then you're gonna look just damn goofy. Okay, just telling you straight up. There are styles out there for older gentlemen and older ladies where you're going to look nice and you're not going to look like you're from the roaring 20 and 30s. And back then, yes, everybody had canes because they were a fashion statement. You know, you're not going to walk around all dapper Dan like you're back in the roaring 20s and 30s. Today's world, you can dress nicer, you can feel nicer, you can. people are living longer, people are staying healthier. Um, there's plenty of fashion videos out there to look for those that help you with that. There are plenty of health videos out there. What I'm discussing right now is whether or not this self-defense device is going to make me look old. Now, there are two things, and I'm going to show you right now. There are two things that do happen as we get older. We're all aging. You can't fight time. You know, you try to slow it down, but you definitely can't stop it. Now, one of the simple things is... We lose two things, and I've done this in a video before as well. As you're getting older, and this goes for a lot of people that are brand new to the cane, as well as a lot of younger people and a lot of older people that want to train with the cane, but they are going, it makes me look old and I'm going to feel like an old man or an old woman. Well, we talked about upgrading your cane, and, and I'm not talking about an expensive cane, but a nice, reasonably priced wooden cane. Something that's going to you know, get you around town. Something you can have. You don't even have to walk like that. You can carry it like this. You can go anywhere. Plain courthouse, anywhere with these things. Now, you lose two things when you get older. You lose power and you lose speed. 
You do, okay? Now, when you're 50, 60, 70, going into your 80s, you're not going to have the power speed when you were 20. Without, without a doubt, you start to lose that. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply swap the power we lost for better targeting areas. And what I mean by that is if they're coming at you, catch them in right in Franken beans, right there. Just boom, right in Franken beans, right in the groin area. You know, where else can you strike? That collarbone. Obviously, the head's a given. They're coming at you, strike that knee. Go for those jointed areas where there's not a lot of muscle and also understand something. If you got a big fat guy coming at you and you're thinking he's fat, I'm just gonna hit him in the stomach and call it a day. There's a lot of fat guys that are solid, man. So you're not gonna be able to really get into them. But catch that knee. If they're reaching, catch that wrist. Catch that elbow. Again to the collarbone. They're coming at you, solar plex, throat, face. Hit those areas that are not covered by muscle or fat that are exposed, soft tissue, jointed areas. Those are your striking points. You don't have to be a martial artist to wield this cane. You need to be able to pick it up though. If you're getting older and you're in a situation where you cannot lift the cane for self-defense, it's not gonna do you any good in a self-defense situation. I would suggest having a concealed weapons permit and carrying a firearm. This also, for those of you that already have that, this complements that. It, what I mean by that is simple. You got a concealed weapons permit and someone's starting to come at you, it takes a second or so to reach in and pull your firearm wherever you have it. Well, the king is already in your hand, locked and loaded. Someone's coming at you, a big strike, you're backing up, gives you time to pull your concealed weapon, and you're ready to go. So it does complement that because it's already in your hand. Also, the fact that you don't have to have a lot of training to, be, to get somebody off you for a split second. I suggest more training to be able to handle different various situations that could happen in life because there's so many different ways something can happen. But to get you started, understand a simple lift to the groin, a simple hit to the throat, simple smack to a knee, things that are gonna help. Now, also, you start to lose that speed. So how do we replace the speed? Well, now we're gonna be a little more stealthy, a little bit more deception, a little sneakier. You might lift your hands, eyes and everything goes for the hand. Smack that knee, you might help me and then act like someone's behind you. If he turns, you've got a head shot, you've got a collar shot. He's reaching for you. Push his hand away, strike the elbow. So go for, you know, go for those, with, again, with no muscle, you know, with no fat areas, you don't have a lot of strength, go for those better targeting areas. Then be deceptive how you get there. How am I going to get to that target knee? Don't look at that knee, lift up, and then go for that knee. He's going to move. Or he might dive at you. Put your hands up like you're going at him, and then hit that knee. Now, let's say you're having a hard time lifting that cane, right, to get it up. Kick it up. Don't try to, the best way to do that, by the way, is don't, and I've done this in a video also, don't just kick it straight up. Even though I'm doing that very well, and I'm hitting it all the time, if I miss it, do like a soccer ball. Side kick it up, and now you've got it ready. I'm sitting here, side kick it up, and then abandon that strike. It's that quick and easy. Another thing is, let's say you're losing that power in your swing. Your hand's a little slow to lift it up. We all start to get that arthritis going. Lift your arm and hit. Grab your own arm, your own arm and help lift it up. Also, how am I going to get a better strength body movement, body mechanics. I'm gonna lift my arm and I'm gonna step and hit. What about doing a bayonet strike for more power? As I lift, instead of just doing this, shuffle in and give them your body weight along. So now I'm giving them body weight shots as well as helping bring my arm up. So take your time and practice. Practice grabbing your arm, moving it and swinging. Practice kicking your cane up, moving it and swinging. Just practice those techniques. 
You're getting older, yes. Do you have to look and feel old? No. Today's world, there's things out there we can do to help ourselves look better, feel better. The king, walk with confidence. First rule of self-defense, situational awareness. We're older now, right? We don't want to look like a victim. I don't want to walk around looking like a victim. Then, oh my God, look at this guy. Old guy here, I'm going to rob him. You know, I want to walk around to where they're going, he's got a cane, he's, he looks like he's ready to use it. Maybe it's not such a good idea. So that's what I want versus, yeah, look at this guy. Let's get him. Also, don't put yourself in a bad situation. What do I mean? If your gut feeling's telling you, hey, there's two or three creepy guys down the end of this street. First off, I'm older, remember? <laughs> They're 20-ish. I'm 57. Am I going to outrun them? Hell no. They're going to outrun me. So don't go that way. If my gut's telling me something's wrong, I'm going to listen to it. Number two, if you need money to go pull ATM or go to an ATM and pull out money late at night, don't. Try to go ahead and pull it earlier in the day. Don't go up to an ATM at 12 o'clock at night and you're sitting here. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, you might have a gun on you. You might have whatever weapon. But you're setting yourself up for a situation to develop and happen and it could go bad. So situational awareness, plan your day accordingly. Know where you're going, what you're going to do. Yes, life does throw curveballs at you. But now, since a curveball may come, I got my cane and I'm going to knock it out of the park. So practice. Pick up a cane. Pick it up. Get used to it. Realize it doesn't make you an old person because it does not. What's going to make you feel old and look old is going to be how you take care of yourself. So hopefully that helps. Gary Nance, thank you. And again, not trying to offend, trying to educate. Have a good weekend, everybody.